Good day, hey, hi, and welcome. All right. Eight string versus seven string. Da, da, da. In the left corner, we have the EC258 LTD eight string beast. And weighing in at uh, whatever pounds in the right corner, we have the Mark Holcomb PRS SE uh, SVN7, which is a bit mouthful, seven string. Yeah, so duking it out seven string versus eight string, eight string. Okay, so I've had the 8-string now since last June, and we're now April 1st. No joke. Uh, anyway, um, I have to make this video, and I've now had this a little over, well, since February. So a little over a month, month, month and a half. And I can't put that guitar down. That guitar is really, really, really good. I just, I just finished recording something really awesome today with it, so... Um, yeah, uh, but I've recorded with both guitars now, and what I'm finding is uh, this thing is a black hole. This thing is, it's a mahogany body, mahogany neck, uh, Jabota fingerboard. Not so crazy about the Jabota fingerboard sound-wise. It's not bad. It's kind of like um, rosewood light, so it doesn't have the, the aggressive mids of rosewood, but kind of like a rosewood. Uh, but that said, this guitar is the darkest, heaviest sounding guitar I've ever owned probably even ever heard like this thing is just a black hole it's just so dark uh very great guitar now this thing has a mahogany body with a, a maple a, a quilted maple top which is awesome with the Holcomb burst there and a ebony fingerboard with a maple neck so this guitar still pretty dark sounding sure but it's a little bit brighter because of the ebony fingerboard maple neck and maybe even the the maple top probably adds a little bit i know that some people believe in tone woods some people don't that's fine and if you want to see tabletops of these they're, they're on my channel too so you just search uh ltd ec258 you'll probably find my you know 10 videos on that guitar uh and you know i have some like th this thing is just absolutely a monster um and this guitar um there's not too many videos on it yet because i just got it not too long ago uh but i have been very busy with it again great sounding guitar the cleans on this guitar are just absolutely stellar uh but the uh the strange thing about it is that it you know especially with these high output pickups it's it sort of works with my fender hot rod deluxe which is a classic amp but it's hard to dial in a tone for that high of output pickups on a classic amp like that without sounding like you're murdering the amp the eight string is just not for that amp now they're both 26 and a half inch scale length but here's what i find okay the eight string can do things the seven string cannot do because of that extra string but however i find the seven string seven strings better than the eight string eight strings uh let me tell you why i think the furthest you can go for an actual guitar now mind you i haven't had to the chance to try any uh, multi-scale fan fret guitars yet so that might change my opinion once i do but that said with the seven string okay that has 10 to 62 gauge on it the eight string has 10 to 74s which are basically the same gauge of strings just minus one string off the seven string uh, so if you were just to go from the e to the b on the eight string you would have a 10 to 62 same thing but they play so much differently now width of the neck not being uh, so much the issue here uh the width of the neck on the eight string is tomato tomato for me because i play 12 strings i play the seven string I play the eight string i bought the eight string before i bought the seven string even though this was the uh, the eight, seven string that i thought i was going to go with seven string then eight string but then i sold myself on the idea of having an eight string first and i'm kind of glad i did i don't think i'll ever ha not have one but will i buy another eight string yeah. again well i don't know if i will because i don't know if the eight string can ever uh maybe with the multi-scale it it'll do it but uh, here's what i find okay the string tension on the seven string is light on the high e and moderate on the b string and every string in between is even so like your regular six string guitar whether you play if you got a properly intonated guitar with the right size gauge strings on it what you find is that the strings are even tensioned the whole way across so it's perfect uh, 
it, it's literally perfect, right? So it doesn't matter. Like that guitar is no harder to play other than the fact that it's a longer scale length. If I'm playing 10 gauge strings on my other guitars, it's about the same on that as it is on this. So this guitar is marginally harder to play just because not of the thickness of the neck or the width of the neck, but the length, uh, the, the length of the neck, right? The length of the scale. So you have to work a little harder, but I can play it almost as fluently as I can the any six string that I've ever owned or played. So anything I can do on a six string, I can pretty much do on that finger tapping, you name it. So whatever riffs I suck at on my six strings, I can suck at on this. Uh, and anything I do well, I can do well on this. But the eight string is a little different. Now the eight string, again, it's not so much the width of the neck, uh, but there is a thing about the width of the neck that I'm still getting used to even six months on. Uh, and it was noticeable right away when I started playing it is my muscle memory. Uh, so my muscle memory, I'll talk about that in a second, but the first thing I want to talk about is the string tension. And this is where the eight string kind of lets you down. And why I say, you know, the furthest you really can go practically with a guitar is a seven string. So seven string, nine string, I know they're out there. But the low F sharp, which is the largest string on the, on the eight string, it seems like it doesn't have enough tension on it. Maybe the fan fret will take care of that because you would get more tension. The guitar is perfectly intonated. That's not a, not an issue. It's well set up. Uh, but the st string tension on the low F sharp is not quite enough. It's a little bit flubby. So you don't get that note definition like you get on the 7 string on the B. Now the B on this is a little bit better uh, than the, the low F sharp. But it still doesn't seem like it has enough tension on it. So the B on that guitar which is the second thickest string is nowhere near as light attention as the the b on that string but that guitar feels like the, the b string is under proper tension so no matter where you play on the fretboard you hear that note where here it sounds like you got two droning notes almost like a bass where it just kind of like sits in the background rather than gets really d defined and out front like you would expect from a guitar right and then as you go, your your E string is fine, your D string is fine, your uh, or A string is fine, your D uh, D string is fine. But then when you get to the G, it seems like the G string has a little more tension on it than on the seven string, and and the B gets even more tension. And then the E string feels like there's too much tension on it. Now it's playable; it's not unreasonable, but it's that much, right? So it it feels like to get the proper tension on the B and the E, the compromises, you have to have more tension on the, the uh, G, B, and E high strings, right? Uh, solo strings. So you never have a guitar that has proper tension all the way across, which makes it harder to play. Not super difficult, but you, you got to work, a, you know, noticeably harder. Um, so you can deal with the width of the fingerboard. You can even deal with the scale length but the tension just doesn't seem there. And when you get down to the B and the low F sharp, you can get some definition as you come up the fretboard, but if you're really near the nut, it seems like it sounds like you're playing a bass where you just get like a boom rather than a dong, like an actual defined note. And I think that's the limitation, unfortunately, of the eight string. Otherwise, eight string all the way because, you know, they're just a beast, right? A lot of fun to play. Maybe the fan fret, I think, would probably solve that issue because a fan fret can go like multi-scale, like 25 and a half to say 26 or 27 inch scale. Like I think that for an eight string, you probably have to have like a 27 or 28 inch scale. But then now the scale length is getting so ridiculous on the low strings that you're no longer playing a guitar, you're playing a bass, right? So that's the catch 22 of the eight string. And that's why I think... The seven string is the better way to go. Uh, get a six string bass player and, you know, ditch the eight string bass and go with a seven string. That That's my opinion. Uh, I know, again, the eight strings are a lot of fun to play. They're, especially the, the sound you get out of them just shakes the walls. It, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a beast. But yeah, that's my opinion on you know, seven string versus eight string, which is better and why, but things to consider. And I think that's why the eight string, it's kind of like it's hit popularity, but it's never really climbed. It's kind of like, seems like it's plateaued where the guys that'll play the eight string never really exceed where the seven string still seems like more and more people are, are gravitating to them. And that's probably what it is. So I don't think it's so much the width of the, um, 
the fingerboards uh, or even the scale lengths as much as it is the can you get the tension sorted out? Now, I know some people will say, oh, my eight string plays perfectly tensioned all, all the way. Does it really? When you record it in the mix, like, do you have a guitar there or do you just have something droning in the background? That's what I'm talking about. So, unfortunately, no, I can't get the B string. Like, if I'm playing power chords, it's okay. But, like, if I'm trying to get a defined note, I just can't seem to get the articulation and the attack and the clarity out of those notes because they don't seem to have enough tension on the string to get that whereas on the seven string tension is perfect uh and i've noticed this with a few seven strings now i haven't played a lot of eight strings even though this is a really good one uh, i haven't played a lot of eight strings so i can't really say that all eight strings are like that but uh that's probably anything with the same scale length um these two guitars have the same 26 and a half scale length that's probably what you're going to find so you tell me what your experience is in. Does the fan fret solve the problem with the tension? And if it does, does the extra scale length of going from 26 and a half, say between 25 and a half on the E, take off some of the tension on the E and then, you know, with a 27 or 28 inch scale, is it, you know, like, does it make it that much harder to play? Because now you're getting into bass territory scale length wise. You guys can discuss amongst yourself, but that's what I've noticed. Anyway, so, so it was a great day. Eh?